And now let's talk about series expansion and their notations. Although we have talked about them in previous lectures, but let's talk about them in a different manner this time. So the first one over there is one plus x is power n, and let's expand that with the help of binomial theorem. Right? This becomes n c zero dot one raised power n dot x is power zero plus n c one dot one raised power n minus one dot x is power one plus n c two dot one raised power n minus two dot x is power two till n c n dot one raised power zero dot x is power n. Okay. To further simplify this one, we'll be getting one plus x raised power n equals to n c zero dot one dot one. This is one. This is one plus n c one dot one dot x. This is one. This is x plus n c two dot one dot x square till n c n dot one dot x is power n. Right. Now to further simplify this one. This will be written as c zero. This will be written as c one. So basically, from now onwards, we'll be writing this notation as c zero, this as c one, this as c two, or and so on. Okay. So this ultimately becomes one plus x raised to the power n equals to c zero plus c one x plus c two x square plus c three x cube till c n x raised to the power n. And you have to remember this series. Okay, so whenever someone says one plus x is power n, this should pop up in your mind, right? Not this one, this one. Okay. Now, if you talk about one minus x is power n, for that we'll be writing one plus x is power n once again. We'll, we have c zero plus c one x plus c two x square plus c three x cube till c n x is power n, right? And now we'll replace x with minus x, so this becomes c zero. Plus c1 minus x plus c2 minus x square plus c3 minus x cube till c n minus x is power n. So this actually becomes c0 minus c1 x plus c2 x square minus c3 x cube plus c4 x4 till c n minus x is power n. So basically, we have alternate plus minus signs, plus minus plus minus. Okay, this is our one minus x is par n. Now, if we talk about x plus one and x minus one raised par n, in that case, x plus one raised par n would be c zero x raised par n. Why? Because in the expansion over here, one was coming, one raised par n. In this case, x is coming, so x is par n. Okay. So c zero x raised par n plus c one x raised par n minus one. Plus c two x is par n minus two till c n x is par zero or nothing basically. Okay, this is our x plus one is par n. And now if we talk about x minus one is par n, you can keep that as homework. Just derive that and learn that. Right? You have to remember all these series. Okay, on your tips. Right? And now let's talk about fifth, sixth, and seventh. So the fifth one is c zero plus c one plus c two till c n that is equal to two is par n. So for that we'll again be utilizing one plus x is par n. So that is c zero plus c one x plus c two x square plus c three x cube till c n x is par n. Right. Now if you put x equals to one over here, we'll be getting two is par n equals to c zero plus c one plus c two plus c three till c n. Right. So you have to remember this one. Now if we talk about Sixth one, that is c zero plus c two plus c four till the end. That is equals to two raised power n minus one. Now we can see that we are adding up terms with even super subscripts. Okay, c zero, c two, c four, c six till the end, right? So for that we'll again be utilizing one plus x raised power n. Now that is c zero plus c one x plus c two x square plus c three x cube till c n x raised power n, right? Now if you put x equals to one over here, we'll be getting two raised power n equals to C zero plus C one plus C two plus C three till C n. That is our first equation. Now, if we talk about one minus x is par n, that would be C zero minus C one x plus C two x square minus C three x cube till C n minus x is par n. Okay. If you put x equals to one over here, you'll be getting zero, right? Equals to C zero minus C one plus C two minus C three till the n. That is C n. Minus one raised power n. Okay. Now this is our second equation. If you add first and second, what you'll be getting? Two raised power n equals to two times c zero. This and this gets cancelled out. Plus two times c two. 
plus 2 times c4 till the end. Okay. Now, 2 raised power n by 2 equals to c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus c6 till the end. So, this becomes 2 raised power n minus 1. Right. You again have to remember this, this one as well. Okay. Now, if you talk about the last one, that is c1 plus c3 plus c5 equals to 2 raised power n minus 1. In this case, again, you have to subtract 1 and 2. Right. Because in this case, even subscripts would get cancelled up and odd subscripts would get doubled up, right? So you'll again get the same result. So I'll keep seventh one as homework. Okay. It's very simple. You just have to subtract one and two and you'll get the answer. Okay. And now let's solve this example. The sum of the series 20 C0 minus 20 C1 plus 20 C2 minus 20 C3 till 20 C10, not 20 C0. It's not till the end. It's somewhere in middle, right? 20 C10, right? So if we write down this in the notation format, we'll be getting C0 minus C1 plus C2 minus C3 till C10. This is what they're asking, right? Now we can see alternating plus minus plus minus. So we know that we have to use 1 minus x is for 20. Now this is what? This is C0 minus C1x plus C2x square minus C3x cube plus C4x is for 4 till C20x is for 20. Agreed, right? Now, if you put x equals to 1 over here, we'll be getting 0 equals to c0 minus c1 plus c2 minus c3 plus c4 minus c5 plus c6 minus c7 plus c8 minus c9 plus c10 minus c11 plus c12 minus c13 plus c14 minus c15 plus c16 minus c17 plus c18 minus c19 plus c20 okay now can we say that c0 is same as c20 why because n c r equals to n c n minus r we know this property right since n c r equals to n c n minus r we can say that 20 c0 is same as 20 c20 right so we can write this as two times c0 right this one two times c0 minus two times c1 right this one and this one c1 is same as c19 similarly we can write down till c2 minus c3 plus c4 minus c5 plus c6 minus c7 plus c8 minus c9 right you can see c2 c18 c3 c17 c4 c16 5 15 6 14 7 8 13 8 12 and 9 11 this one is still left right this one is left it has no pair so basically we are getting 0 equals to this plus c10 okay so what if we add c10 over here so this becomes 2 times c10 so we can club it over here right so basically c10 by 2 gives us c0 minus c1 plus c2 minus c3 till c10 okay this is the answer so 1 by 2 20 c10 d is the correct answer right so today's lecture was still here only and in the next lecture we'll be talking more about series expansion. So let's meet in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.